We want to install this pre-hung door, or our most cost and time efficient way to perfectly replace the door. So let's begin. Score the casing or trim covering the door jams and remove it. Also remove the door from the hinges using a drill. To remove the existing door jam, cut it in half using a reciprocating saw or sawzall. Remove any screws holding the jam into place. Often they will be found near the hinges and strike plate. Clean the threshold of any debris as we prepare for the installation. And remove any hardware or cardboard on the frame of the pre-hung door you're about to install. We can start by checking for level and plumb on the hinge side of the door. By seeing how out of level the jam is, we will know how much we will need to adjust the frame using shims. We have a problem. Our door and frame are a quarter inch too tall and our door is hitting the floor. If we take a quarter inch off the bottom of the frame, we can then raise the frame higher and the door will clear the floor. So we measure a quarter inch back from the bottom, mark it with a speed square, and using a multi-purpose tool or skill saw, cut those lines. You can also use a multi-purpose tool to ensure there's no impediments to the door frame. We now adjust our low hanging door by shimming our door jams up by a quarter inch. Do not overthink this. Remember, when hanging a pre-hung door, always start by leveling and plumbing the hinge side first and go from there. So after plumbing our door all the way around, we continue to check for level. Using a four or six foot level as a straight edge, look down the straight edge and notice the gap between the jam and the level. We shim that slightly to move the jam, closing that gap until the level and jam are completely flush. We keep shimming below the hinges and wherever is needed to square that jam. And after shooting with an angled finish nailer or brad nailer, cut the shims. Now that we have the hinge side leveled and plumb, we simply make the reveal consistent all the way around. Recheck for level on the hinge side. And let's begin on the strike side or doorknob side. Work your way down the jam, simply making your reveal consistent and double checking your work with the level. It is important to shim above and below the strike plate for added strength. You can use a wood block to make slight adjustments of the door jam or door stop. And make sure your door now closes flush with the door stop of the jam. Now we shim our header. Our door should now swing freely a quarter inch above the ground. And now for our casing or door trim. You choose what reveal or how far your trim sits back from the jam. We are going with a 3 16 inch reveal. Measure that. And these are our short points of that angled cut. A mitered joint is a cut at a 45 degree angle. Measure from short point to short point and make that cut. And install your header piece first, keeping our reveal consistent and perfect. Now you can measure from the floor to the long point of the header piece, or simply mark your casing piece and cut. And don't forget your doorknob and strike plate. And we're done. A new pre-hung door for our home ready to be painted. For more videos in this series, go to bestonlinecabinets.com.